that's what we're doing. I started a little late on my video. What we got here is a freebie. Free Craftsman 19.5 horsepower riding mower. I done tore all the mowing deck and everything off and it's got some steering issues, which that steering support, that plastic piece of crap is all wore out. So I got that ordered. Uh, I had two flat front tires. I finally got it started. Drove it around the yard with flat tires. It goes pretty fast. And then my daughter ran it. I had the battery sitting off the side. She ran it, fried the ignition coil. So I got that on order too. So what I'm working on today is a custom exhaust for it. Since I can't drive it around, I can't do anything else, I might as well do the exhaust. Then I'll go to changing the pulley and we'll talk about getting more power and on and on and on. So I want to forewarn you that my, if you want to call it quote, quote, welding capabilities are not the best. So, but I do very good grinding work. So uh, don't laugh at the welds. We'll wait till the finished product will add slag everywhere and uh, a little coat of paint will hide everything so anyways like I said I was a little late on getting this going I already cut part of the I already cut the muffler off and had the pipes running straight down now I'm working on uh, swinging them around and since it's a twin cylinder the angles and trying to make it come out so I have to go left to right right to left and then come up and then uh, I got a little use an EMT conduit because that's fairly cheap and they're pre-bent and I don't want to go buy a bender and uh, like I said my welding skills are not the best and then I found a two inch galvanized piece of pipe off a satellite dish that I'm gonna tack on there and uh, make me some stacks so anyways uh, let me let me switch this camera around somehow or another and I'll show you what I got Okay, here we go. So, I got my stock muffler exhaust manifold right there. I cut, put the EMT on, pipe still a little warm. Like I said, don't laugh at my welds. Then I then welded two together here, and then I got my satellite dish pole, and I got these little reducer bushings that will go on here and I can weld out to the end of there so I'll get myself a big stack and have to have a flapper on it but you can see here I done cut the, the muffler out cut the pipes and I'm working working on this side here that's where I'm working hey I didn't know that was threaded in there I could use some steel pipe in there anyways so we're working that out exhaust is going to come out here go around come out and then come up on the outside of the hood on this side the other side is going to come here sweep this way along here and then kick out so hopefully that'll work good so a little more welding and uh, I've got my Harbor Freight welder because I'm a cheap ass anyways we'll uh Update soon. All right, we're back. After a couple miscues of welding at different angles, we're gonna cut them apart and change them. All right, here we go. Day two. Well, not total day two, it was last night. And uh, I started another video, the third one, but I don't know how to operate these phones, cameras too well, and. Well, it was only about two seconds long, so that don't do any good. But, anyways, and then there's two things you don't do is weld in the dark, cut in the dark, and, well, have too many of those. So, anyways, uh, I got my stack roughed in, and couldn't figure out why the weld wasn't doing so good, but apparently on this satellite pole there's a little plastic plug in the one end and that's of course the, this moron is decided to weld <laughs> so anyways we got to cut that off and start all over again but um okay let me uh see if i can reverse this 
How do you reverse this damn screen? Um, let's see. Okay, hold on a second. All right. Here we go. So, we'll come around here. Let's see where I got my one exhaust coming here, crisscrossing, coming over, flipping up, got a stack on it, and got my temporary cap. But as you can see, if you look real close, this, I got notes on it to cut and redo. But you can see that little lip right there. That's that plastic cap. And that's what all this shit turned into. But anyway, so getting the other side, I got it welded onto the flange, bolted coming across. Now I got to cut a little bit off of this piece, have this tack in, come down the side, and then another piece will sweep, sweep up like that, and I'll match a stack to it. So, that's where we're at right now. And uh, let me do a little cutting, and I'll get back to you. All right. I'm going to cut that one off, retacked it. I'm not going to get close because my shitty welds. And then got the other one stack in. It's gone. It's tacked. I know they're different heights. I got to level across. Let's see. Let's open up the hood here. And uh, maybe if I can figure it out, get the damn thing off. With There we go. Put that aside. Don't need to mess with that. Okay, so now we can see I'm not quite tight here. I on my my mount over here. I'm still loose. I didn't tighten it completely up, but that ought to sit up there. And then I got to do some support brackets that'll support the weight on both sides. But and then I got to pull them all off. I'll clean those up, re-weld where I need to, and uh, it got a little bit better here, see, that weld that a little better, and then, oh, you'd be impressed, over here, this one, this one right here, that's getting good, I'm learning here, I gotta learn it, I had it on medium or mild or minimum, I need to turn it up a little bit and be a little quicker, but, uh, yeah, we're getting there, and don't look at those welds, and uh, so, that's where we're at now. Here we go. We're all a bit done. A little finest polishing and a few minor details and some paint. But we got the exhaust done. And uh, a lot of grinding. A little touch up weld here and there. But got the supports in. It mounted. And uh, let's see something here. I'm, gonna, I'm learning this thing. I'm going to pause it and then I think I can reverse it. Well, that didn't work, so I'm going to have to pause or stop and then reverse it, because this thing don't want to reverse somehow or another. I don't know how the hell. You can't figure this damn thing out. Anyways, alright. Okay, there we go. Stacks on. Cut similar height. As you can see... They're not both leaning in the right direction, but eh, for the first time, rookie, it don't matter. Alrighty. Got the crisscross going on. Got a little bit of clearance there. It's not vibrating on the frame. Comes around. Utilized some old mower deck parts right here. Bolted it to the frame. Cut it. Made myself a little... Took some of that other pipe. Got a little mount right there. Put a hose clamp. It's going to go on that. Keep that tight. Go on that side. And got one this side. So they got to be a little touched up, re welded. Got a hose clamp on there. So not too bad. So let's see if I can get that hood back on. Let's see what we can do. Hang, hang tight. You may have a picture of something you, you might have a picture of the sky but hey it is what it is let's see get that hood on put 
Okay, so there's what she looks like with the hood on. Coming out right there. Got a little rub room there. It's going to vibrate a little bit. But we can always nibble out of there. This one, it rubs on the inside. As you can watch it go flare out a little bit. It goes down, but I don't really care. I think she's going to be a runner as soon as I get the coil on. Other parts, steering parts, bowl will be on the road. Then we'll be ready for the belt pulley upgrade. But until then, hasta.